Ladies and gentlemen, Fear the Walking Dead is one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my life. Just hands down, it's, it's a terrible show. But I have a feeling that it was going to go in a completely different direction. And that's exactly what I want to talk about in this video. I wanted to talk about how Fear the Walking Dead could have easily been a prequel to The Whisperers. And it's something that I've had on my mind for a while, so so let's just jump right in since I've already I've already got the ball rolling, you know what I mean? Fear the Walking Dead is a show about the Clarks. That's what it originated as. It started in Los Angeles with a lady who, quite frankly, looked a lot like Comic Alpha. I mean, look at this. Do you see I mean, I know this is black and white, but do you see a resemblance? Tell me that isn't Tell me that isn't Madison. Like, come on, you you see it, whatever. Anyway, it starts with Madison Clark and it follows her, Nick, Alicia, you know the story and all sorts of chaos ensues. And the show clearly had a really strong direction. You could see that both from where it started and where it went up until season three. There was just so much there on paper that worked. We watched a group of survivors go from one, a guidance counselor and a recovering drug addict to people who were getting more hardened by the apocalypse. And it just perfectly set up a potential villain story, which is exactly what Dave Erickson and Robert Kirkman were going for with this story. If you guys don't know, the original outline for Fear the Walking Dead was to be a show about a group of villains. And what better group of villains at the time that Fear the Walking Dead came out for it to have been than the Whisperers? I mean, it just, it, it fits perfectly. And I, I, again, I think part of it fits perfectly because I, I think Madison looks like the uh, the alpha in the comics, but... That being said, imagine what we could have got if we had a spinoff where we saw Alpha become Alpha and Beta become Beta. It just would have worked so well. And I, I know this is a small detail, like a very small detail. It's kind of goofy. Like I, I cringe in my head even saying this out loud. But when I had initially read the comics, I imagined Alpha to have Madison Clark's voice. Like... I don't know why, uh, maybe maybe a little bit more soft tone, I don't know, but something about Comic Alpha looked like she had a very, like, soft-spoken, but psychotic, but soft-spoken so voice. Like, I never got this whole, like, crazy, like, cowgirl sounding, I am Alpha! I am Alpha! Like, I don't, where the fuck did that come from? I, I'm sorry, I, like, I know it's a small detail. But sometimes those small details go a long way, and I, I personally think those things really matter. In The Walking Dead, Alpha's voice was one of those things that just, it just threw me off. Like, it wasn't something that threw me off because, like, she's a villain and it's meant to, like, make you, like, not like her. No, like, it just, I didn't think it worked. Like, it just, it, nothing about it seemed right to me. But again, I could be one of the only people who thought that. I actually have no idea. I've never seen anyone talk about this. So this, for all I know, this is just an original take. I haven't seen this out there. I'm just saying. It was it was a small detail, but it mattered. And <laughs> I can't believe I ran it on for a minute about the voice of Alpha, but whatever. The point I'm making in all of that is Madison looks in my opinion, sounds like what would have been the comic version and also just has the same gritty demeanor that I think Alpha needed. And imagine where this show could have gone if that's the direction they went. If they went that way instead of bringing characters like Morgan onto the show, if they went that way instead of bringing even John Dory, who I really, really like. If they had just done something like that, it could have been legendary. Now, of course, there are some plot holes in that thinking. Of course, Lydia being one of them. Well, there is no one in Madison's family named Lydia, and I'm sure at the time of Dave Erickson and Robert Kirkman creating Fear the Walking Dead, they probably weren't going in that direction per se, so they didn't think to have a Lydia in the show or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, and I could see that. But in the same vein, you could have easily figured something out. At this time, Fear the Walking Dead was still early on, and The Walking Dead 
was never anywhere near the Whisperer storyline. So they, they could have made it work. Maybe instead of Lydia being the name, they could have just had Alicia be the person or whatever. But then another plot point with that is the age gap, because Lydia in the comics is pretty young when she gets introduced to the Alexandrians and all of that stuff. So that's something too. But in the end of the day, regardless, they could have made it work. I trust them. But do I think that's exactly what they were going to do? No. I honestly don't. I think if anything, they were going to make them into either a new group of villains or someone else, like some other group, and maybe connect it to The Walking Dead, even though they said multiple times that that show was never going to actually connect to The Walking Dead. I think they could have done something. I think they were going to do something if it wasn't for Dave Erickson and Robert Kirkman leaving the show. If those two things didn't happen... It would have, you know, it would have gotten a lot better. And I think Robert Kirkman still has like some produ production or writing credits on the show. I'm not sure. But regardless, imagine how badass it would have been to have an origin story to the Whisperers. Because I, I genuinely feel like the Whisperers in The Walking Dead in seasons 9 and 10 were not strong. Like, I, I don't know what it was. I know some people really responded positively to it. And I'm not saying it was bad, because it, it definitely wasn't. Like, Samantha Morton as Alpha, as well as, um, I forget the actor's name who played Beta, they, they were great. Like, they felt very integrated into the Walking Dead cast. Tr truly, they did. But I didn't like, I didn't really like them. Like, they, they, I feel like they could have gotten a little bit more... I feel like they could have done better with the casting. And, and that's, again, not to say Samantha Morton did a bad job. It's just like, I never saw her as Alpha. Like, when she plays Alpha, she does a phenomenal job. And like, I, part of me thinks Samantha Morton was like, born to play Alpha. I know that sounds crazy. Just like how I think Anthony Starr was born to play Homelander. I think it worked for her. Like, it worked. The casting worked for the alpha they went with. But the alpha they went with is not the alpha that I ever imagined. Does that make sense? I imagined it to be Madison Clark. And that's why this video is heavily biased, because that's what I would have loved to have seen. But in the end of the day, like, that's who I've always en envisioned. Or if not, if not actually Kim Dickens, you know, who plays her... Maybe someone else who looks like her or sounds like her and acts like her. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. This is just one of those videos I think you just have to, you have to be picking up what I'm putting down. That's really all. I just think Fear the Walking Dead could have been a masterpiece if that's the direction it went down instead of what those two idiots turned the show into. And I have to say, I have to address this one. Because it's absolutely true. I, I made a ton of hate videos about Fear the Walking Dead. And I still have a lot of hatred in my heart for what the show turned into. But I never meant to direct any of that at the cast, the crew, and yada yada. And even looking back at my uh, season, the, the final season video, as well as the season 8 video. I feel like, I'm getting guilty of this. I feel like I bashed on the child actress way too much. And I've come to realize that it wasn't her fault. It, it, it never was her fault. Like, she was good. But the problem was, the page was just so bad. And I genuinely don't think this, the writers and even, like, some of the production crew, not that they're bad personally, but I genuinely think they didn't give her the right direction to do what she could have done with the material. So I want to take back what I said where I said she is not good. And I want to just reiterate that I think a lot of that has to do with the challenge of being in any Ian and Andrew production. So let me, let me just emphasize this fact. I have no problems with the cast or the crew or anyone who worked on the show, even, an Andrew, even Ian and Andrew, who I think are incompetent and should not be making projects. I don't hate these people. I mean, they were just doing something fun and they probably loved what they did. And that's amazing. If you genuinely enjoy creation, if you genuinely enjoy passion and all of that stuff, power to you. It doesn't matter what you create, even if the audience at large hates it, which I do. I hated it. Hated it. But I don't have a problem with anyone truly on the set. 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's nothing against the people. Honestly, I'm sure they had a blast with it. There's a lot to love still at its core of Fear the Walking Dead, but it would have been a lot cooler if it had done what I thought of in this video. I, I really think it could have been an awesome prequel to The Whispers. It just would have been cool. But again, no hate, no shade on any of the actors and actresses or the cast and crew of blah, 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 all that stuff. But this would have been way better than what we got. And with that out of the way, let me know your thoughts. Do you think this would have made for a good uh, prequel, spinoff, blah, 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 all this stuff? Let me know down in the comments. And with that out of the way, thank you again so much for watching this video. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.